Hello and welcome to Gardenville. We are standing at quite a collection of sort of leaves here and I'm not sure, to me it looks like a cake or some sort of a bosh. Okay, what we've got here is the main plant, the tall one is uh, Bibisporum tenuifolium silver queen. I have to interrupt Susan there. How does she remember these names? Well, if you hear a pause, you know I'm forgetting it. <laughs> <laughs> or you're remembering it. You never seem to forget. Okay, so this is an evergreen bush. It's an evergreen shrub. It won't take anything as minimum winter temperature minus five. So you need to be in a sort of warmer coastal area for this one. Great for flower ranging. Great for flower ranging. Yes. Okay, right. And it will grow to about 12 to 15 feet, but you can also grow them as a hedge, so it will take any amount of trimming you want to give it. And so when you buy this in a garden centre, what are you, you know, what is the best size to get some You're sort of... probably getting that at, you won't get them much higher than about 2 feet in a garden centre, you're probably looking at about 18 inches. And uh, would you buy one or two together, or well, what's the if best you way to plant it? If you want it just as a specimen, like this one is here in, in this border, you just buy one. Okay. If you're growing it as a hedge, you'd probably plant them at, oh, 18 inches, 45 centimetres apart. And do people actually oh, run yes, this yes, as a hedge? You see them in very um, attractive. urban areas as a hedge, yeah. Wouldn't that be very, very different type of a hedge different to type your of normal hedge. dark okay. green hedges? Or and you'll only need one trimming a year with that, just once a year. So this is quite a handy, it's a kind of handy thing. shrub how then. Do you, how do you notice what's happening up here? Well, this is why I'm saying it's like a cake or something. <laughs> Down like here, at the bottom, we've got Euonymus, uh, Fortunii, Emerald and Gold. Outstanding okay. thing to be able to remember <laughs> that as well. Okay. And we have that. Now, how has that happened? That how that's happened is under is, here. I don't know whether you can see, but it's sort of climbed its way up inside. I don't know whether Rosie can get a clip of that. Yeah. It's climbed its way up inside, and it's actually popped out here. Now, what do you think, as a gardener I'm and a designer, is that um, sort of a way to do it in the garden? or I'm perfectly happy with that. I don't like to see plants that are kept totally individual, not allowed to touch each other. It's a great bit of fun piece of gardening. It can confuse the natives and, you know. Yeah, okay. It's a great bit of fun. Now what has happened here, you can see where it's gone green, all green. Yeah, that's this is this. That's this. this yeah. Is, this is what's known as reversion. When a variegated shrub reverts back to what it would originally have been, which is all solid green. Well, now that's going to bring me to the question of somebody who hasn't a clue about this. What do you mean bring it back? Well, it's reverted, it's gone back to what it originally was. This has been bred by humankind yes. to be variegated. Okay, and would this be the same then? Um, this is probably developed from the plain uh, green tenufolium. Okay, so to get this, so you originate with this. You start with this. Somebody, I'm not sure, may have found one that naturally became variegated due to a virus, due to something, I'm still not asking about. And then they vegetatively propagated it by taking cuttings to keep that colour going. Isn't that absolutely fascinating? But what can happen is when it goes back to green like this, and that's called reversing. And ideally, if you've got a variegated shrub that's doing that, you would cut the green bits out. And why would you do that? Well, you want to keep it. You bought it as a gold variegated oh, shrub, right, so you want okay. to keep it doing that. Would, yeah. the whole, would the whole hedge, though, or the whole bush go no, back it to... Won't, but, but the green bit will be the stronger growing bit, probably. So it'll take over. So it may take over. But here it doesn't matter, because it just adds to the whole mix of what we've got here. Yeah, because if for somebody like me now, yeah. I would have thought, OK, we have this, we have this, and we have this didn't realise that uh, you've actually got two plants, can but one is reverting back to its original state. Now, I've got very little maintenance on this. Absolutely none. I mean, if, in a garden this size, absolutely none. You just leave it be. And I do think I like the idea that you could actually run this as a hedge. If anybody has something like that in their garden, do please send us in a photo. It would be fantastic to see it yeah. as, a, as a hedge and running the, along. The other thing is you, you could keep it clipped into a neat, some neat shape as a... Point or something. 
and they will also, the fittest forms, you can also keep them in a tub for a certain length of time. So what about your balcony? It would work, it brings yes, us to you, the could, you could grow it on the balcony and keep it... Keep and it you could trained. do it in a nice modern well, shape you could if you do wanted it, You to. could shape it if you wanted to, yes, I'm sure you could. And would you put that in a black sort of... Uh, um, I think this particular pot. one in a black pot or a dark pot, even a dark blue maybe, might pot just would be effective. Yeah, yeah. It's, it just show off mm. the actual leaves in the in yeah. the shrub. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it is a shrub, is it or what is it? Uh, yes, it's a shrub. Strokes. I don't know the difference well, between plants and shrubs. It's a shrub, <laughs> small, small tree, I suppose. Small tree. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. And you can get gold variegated ones as well, and paler than this, and there are numerous varieties of things. Oh, right, okay. Well, if anybody has a nice photograph of uh, one of these uh, done as a hedge or something different about it, do please send it in to um, Gardenville.tv or Facebook us and tell us about it, you know, what way and how you grow yours. Cut.